edition swan song playing spearhead for objective against tyranids. Here's my objective, here's my deployment. Of course I got the broad screen against the outflanking gene stealers. Shooty, shooty, shooty. Over here we got some gene stealers that infiltrated a little bit up. Swarm Lord with two Hive Guards and the, uh, we got some Devour Gaunts with the Karen and Prime. Hive Guard, Hive Guard, Hive Guard, some uh, Raveners. And over here we got some Raveners, Deep Striking, and some uh, small unit of sealers outflanking. So we should try and seize the initiative. <laughs> two. So it's going to be Orc turn one. Okay, middle of turn one, and I kind of shuffled around a little bit. Uh, I didn't want to get charged with the Gene Steelers first turn, so I stayed back. Uh, everything shot at this unit, Gene Steelers, I killed eight of them out of the 18, so that's not too bad. And so going on to Tyranid turn one. Oh, and I also killed two Raveners with uh, Strength 8 shots. Nobody's in a hurry. Nobody's in a hurry to get to the Orc. Run one, run two, run one. So into turn one, uh, everybody moved up. Uh, the hive guard took some pot shots. The boys killed like few of them because stupid fat gets no cover save anymore. And that was pretty much all that happened. So going on to my turn two, reserve roll, Yazgul, Snickrot are coming on. Yeah, let me go figure out where. Well, I said it just means I can't be counter assaulted by the swarm lord this morning. Or, or very unlikely to be. Yeah, that's lucky. No, I don't think you would, I would make it happen. Yeah, because you have to get everybody out of the way and everything. So that's the uh, end of my turn two shooting. I got all but, I got the two sailors down to five. I killed one hive guard there, killed two hive guard there. The last guy has one wound. Where's the other hive guard? Uh, two more hive guard there, right there. Um, these guys came on here and actually failed to charge on the gaunt, which might be advantageous to me in the end. And that was it. So going on to Tyranid turn two. Reserve roll. Uh, Gene Killers. They come in plus one. Okay. Uh, Gene Strikers. They don't come in. Okay. Where do they come in? Or do you get to choose then? I don't get to choose. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. But you do get to re-roll, right? Yeah. Four. I would make all of that. Okay, okay so you can get him with the gym seat. That's fine, I can deal with that. Turn two, and the, he actually brought in the gene stealers over here, which I wasn't expecting. Uh, shooting from all these gaunts, uh, got down to just Gazgul and Snickrot. Snickrot died horribly, Gazgul made all his saves, but he was gained, unfortunately. So, yeah, everything kind of moved up, killed a couple boys in that unit. So, going on to my turn three. So anyway, middle of turn three, going on to the bottom of turn, yeah, middle, going to the bottom of turn three. Uh, these guys tried to run and assault the gene killers, but they failed their charge. Over here, no wounds were dealt. Um, over here, I killed those last two hive guards. I killed most of that unit of the Baragons, but they're on went to ground. And killed one more Ravener over there. And that's about it. So, reserve roll. Uh, two. So I got some new striking raveners going on to turn three. Bottom of turn three. So bottom of turn three going on to turn four. Uh, Gazgul finally died because he lost his two plus ball over here. Uh, lost some guys out of that unit from shooting and they're paroxysmed. Um, the raveners came in over there. So I got to deal with those guys. So going on to my turn four. So going to the middle of turn four and let's see what happened. Everything shot at the raveners. Killed them off all to one wound. Last guy failed his leadership and ran off the table. Over here, killed one hive guard and did two wounds to the swarm lord. And over here, my boys who were proxies failed their charge again. So they're going to die horribly, but going on to bottom of four. So here, bottom of four, and it uh, wasn't that bad of a turn. Uh, first, the raveners. Damage. Uh, the power fist gives the uh, Ravener and kills three guys with boys. Over here, the Swarm Lord rolled double sixes twice on his two psychic powers, so he has one move left. Uh, but they're tied up in combat. And so, yeah, going on to top of five. So here we are, bottom of the turn, our uh, middle turn five, and over here, uh, the Swarm Lord and the High Regard are missing. They both had one move left, and the power fist hit twice on five. Wounded, he failed his invul save. Swarm Lord died. So there's just a turn of prime.
Uh, and over here, I wiped out the gene stealers, did a whole bunch of wounds to these bots and the gene stealers. So, bottom five, I really need to turn seven on this game. So, on his turn, bottom turn five, this guy took some casualties. These guys take a couple casualties. He spread out on these objectives. The high target is testing there. So, right now it's two to one, end of five. I guess I need a leadership, huh? Very good. So, yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead and roll. Roll it. Roll it. Roll for turn six. Yes, turn six. That's what I needed. Oh, yeah, I'm turning a prime failed discharge here, too. So, my turn six. Middle turn five, going to turn six. I was able to kill all the gods here. I uh, killed that last high guard contesting there. So I got the guys blocking those two units of the two high guard and the Pyrrhon of Prime right there. Hopefully keep them away from the objective. And over there, I got three wounds on that guy, so we're tied up in combat. So going to bottom of six. It so, would be bad. Yeah, it turns out it would be bad. Because I'd kill all these guys probably, or at least. You would kill these and these. That's the game. So, the bottom of turn six over here, that is assault push. He's got two wounds left on the Turbogon. Over here, the high guard assaulted. Turn it, uh, prime assaulted. He's got one wound left. There's one, I did one wound over there. And so that's the bottom of turn six. So we're going to roll for turn seven. Otherwise, it's a tie. He's got that objective over there. Brad's holding that objective. That one's uncontested because those guys are actually up here in combat. And that one, I had to get pulled off the uh, assault there. So, God, turn seven. It's bad for the Tyranid player. So, into turn seven. And it's a tie. Over here, I was able to kill the Tyranid Prime, but I'm still locked in with those guys. Uh, but those guys killed the Turbagon, came over here and consolidated into the objective. But unfortunately, on my turn seven, I cannot wipe out these team stealers. They have them, that objective. Those two guys have that objective. Uh, these guys there, orcs there, and it's be a two to two 